Hello dolls and gems and welcome back to my channel. I only have one eyebrow on but I thought we could do my makeup together today. So I was doing this one and then I thought maybe we could hang out and do makeup. So how's everybody doing out there? I haven't been on in a while. So the, the color I use for my eyebrows is a black alley color. And I hope everybody is doing great. I'm getting ready for my nephew's grad I mean uh, birthday party, oh my gosh. So I just go around with my natural bone, the bone um, eyebrow bone, and you just curve it to your desired length or desired shape. Kind of like that. Sorry for the dead silence. But I'm. When I do my eyebrows, I try to get them as perfect as possible. And then I just go in with the shaping, I call it um, brow, defi well, it's brow definer. There it is. And you shape. I shape them with this too as well. And then go up with this one. And go around. And shape it. I go with the more pointy and on the tip Alright, there you go. Bye. Oh, and we have eyebrows. Okay, next I am going to take We're not going to do too much today. Mm -mm.
So we'll go in with this Alley Color Sunflower CBE S62 if you want to know the color. And I'm going in with the brown here. I'm almost out of this. I really love this palette. I'm going to try to find another one. And we're going to go in the eyelid. Um, let me see how I want to do it today. So I'm just going to cover my whole eye. Well, not my whole eyelid, but up to the crease line with this brown. Kind of smoke it out on the end. A little bit more for the other side. Smoke it out on the end. Okay. Like I said I'm not doing too much today. Let me get my brush. And I'll go in with my little brush here in the white, still in the same palette. Really load it up, and then Sometimes I squirt, well, wet my brush a little bit, and then I go in with that white, so it can really pick it up. Alrighty, then we go on top, and if your brush is a little bit too wet. That was just kind of pull it out, dry it, and it is still moist enough so you could get that color on your top eye. Okay, no eyelashes today, no fake ones, so we are going to use the Went Wild Mega Wear. That is C136, very black. And we're just going to enhance your... Eyelash 
Tschüss, und tschüss. And I do use both sides of the mirror when I'm doing them. Simply because I want a full coverage and I can see all the little hairs on the bigger side of the mirror. Okay, and this is just enhancing them a little bit as you could tell. Let that dry and do the other side. And then you could go back to that other side. Sorry guys. Alright, so we'll let this side dry and then go back to this side. Oop, foundation is not working. I put like five colors on a foundation just to blend my skin out because I do have a date night tonight as well. Ooh. So you gotta kinda. Alright, so we got that side covered again, and we'll go back to this side. And we'll go on the bottom. Give you eyelash. Enhancing your bottom ones.
So what's everybody going to do this weekend? I have a birthday party tonight. And then I have day after, so... After the birthday party, I will come home and touch up my makeup, add a little bit more if I have to. Okay, so we got this cupboard. Alrighty. Okay, and then to lock in my uh, my eyebrows, I just go with the wand, and then I scoop it out and go just with on my eyebrows, very very lightly, just to lock in the pencil that we used. Lock them in. Okay, and then you'll go back with your tool. Once again, you'll shape them. Locking, and you're going to moisten that while you're locking that. And All right, to shape your eyebrows, we are going to use mm, All right, so to shape my eyebrows a little bit more, we're going to go in with that that sunflower um, palette again, LA Colors. Going with the white. Kind of clean up the lines. Okay. I'm going to throw a little bit of highlighter under there. And this is the Electra. Yep. And you're just going to highlight under the brow. You don't want to add too much color. Remember, we're just going to go to a little birthday party and then we'll, we'll come home and touch up your makeup. Okay. Again, under the eyebrow. Whoops. Let me clean it up real quick. I forgot. 
much on my mind. Too much. So just kind of clean it up. On top. Bam, bam. And you don't think this makes a difference? It does. It really does. So I'll add some highlighter again under that brow and you want to just kind of like smoke it, smoke it out, going down, just going down and if you go down with it, it blends in with your other shadow so you could guys, so you could kind of highlight here. Problem. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit more mascara. Okay. On top, we will just add some a little light eyeliner to bring out your lashes uh, like I said we are not going extreme on the eye makeup just yet for the party tonight for the date we will but we just want to at least a little bit of eyeliner right I don't add any on the bottom I think that is so 90 90-ish. too much like I said just enough to bring out your eyelashes a little bit Okay, now on the other side, just enough to bring out the eyelashes. And This eyeliner, I'm going to do a review on because, yeah, it is not the best, but it may work for some people. Uh, uh, uh. 
make like all kinds of funny faces when I do my eyeliner. Like a crackhead. Okay, I'm going with the mascara again to curl those babies up because I don't like, um, I really don't like the eyelash curlers. I think they leave a crease on my eyelash. Some of you may like them, they're your favorite, but I don't. And then I pinch myself, make up. Mix my eye water and then make it go all over. Yeah. Bueno, no bueno. Okay, we need over here. And then, with this brush, we are going to go in with the foundation powder that I use. It's just an alley color. Um, natural beige. And I go under the eye, just kind of clean product up. And this is a Feed Mint Brush 103. And then what I like to do is I like to go in with that sunflower LA color again, the sunflower. Hit that brown with my angle brush elf. I love this elf angle brush. It is the bomb.com. Like it's my favorite brush. Dip it into the brown, and then I get a lot on there. So let me. My lighting ain't that great today, guys. I get a lot on there. This is the Elf brush angle. Love it. Dip it in there into my natural beige, and I go. On the jawline. On the jawline. Going down. There we go. Hit that brown. Load that brush up, go on your natural beige, go on your jawline, go with your all over brush, I call this my all over brush, it's so old, it only it has very 
a mini medium blush brush. I use it as an all over brush. Love it as an all over brush. Get some of your natural beige again. Go in with your all over brush. I don't use that much. Foundation. I mean, um, blush. Not like a real big old blush freak. Going with this 35E brush into your highlight. A little bit of highlight on the nose. A little bit on your lip. Just a very little on your chin. And then up here you go down. And then Going with your all over brush again, blend that out. Highlight, I just go in here and up with your all over brush with your natural base all right forehead all over because you have you don't want that line going up of your highlight and then on your nose and then you'll go with your highlight I mean your natural and you kind of just blend that in Go with your angle brush into your highlighter. We'll go under the eye. Now this is how I do my makeup. You all have your own preference. I do mine different. It comes out the way I want it. Go in there with the highlighter. I love this brush to get in that crease and highlight. Okay. And go in with your mascara and just hit the tips of your eyelashes. Go up. Okay. 
Okay. All right, ladies, so that's how I do mine makeup. I'll throw in a little lip liner in a while. But other than that, I am done. Alright guys, thank you for watching me and get getting ready with me. I will see you on my next show. Bye.